and I'm going to be going undercover on the internet. Hi, I'm Louis Tomlinson and I'm going to be going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. You may not believe it, but it's actually me. Okay, first up, Twitter. This is from... No chance I can say that name. The handle is crazy, so we'll just go with Laura. Um, is Louis happy today? Did he drink enough water? They love this one. Did he drink enough water? Did he have a long, comfy shower? And most importantly, has he been cuddled today? Numerous questions in there. Am I happy today? Yeah, it's release date. I'm buzzing. Did I drink enough water? Probably not. Mostly coffee this morning. Did I have a long shower? Not really. I woke up at 4am. Have I been cuddled today? No. No, I'm not sure I have. Next, why did you decide to call the album Walls? This is from at Louis Sunshine. I'd love to have a really clever answer for this, but the reality is the clock was ticking. I needed an album name. Walls is my favorite song off the album. I thought the concept behind this song individually is cool. So I just didn't think about it too much and went with Walls. Next one is from Cami. What's the song that no matter how many times you sing it, the same first emotions are still there? I'm gonna say, um, and I covered this recently at one of my sh a show in Madrid, Mr. Brightside, The Killers, only because that was one of the first songs that I ever sang live way before I was in the band. So definitely feels nostalgic singing that. Okay, this is from Sophia. Why are you so obsessed with 28 Number? Well, my local club, Doncaster Rovers, I was lucky enough to be signed on their books for a couple of seasons, and the squad number they gave me was 28, which is why I got it tattooed on my hand. This is from at Sunflower Lou. Why does he always do that with his hand? That one? Yeah. Um, maybe it's just a British thing, that, is it? Yeah, just as you were growing up, she used to be a way of saying something was really funny or really good. You just get some of that. So, there you go. This is from Nicole. Again, I can't say your handle, sorry. What place are you most excited to visit on tour? It's a bit stereotypical, but I love Barcelona as a city and I'm lucky enough to be starting my tour there. So, uh, today at the moment, I'd say I'm most excited for Barcelona in the first show. This one is from at bread with honey. Okay, these handles are getting more crazy. Are you eating okay? Um, no, I haven't actually had anything to eat today because I've been proper busy. Well, I've had a croissant. Uh, I think I'm eating all right, to be fair, just on busy days, um, you know, can only eat so much. They love it, they love asking these questions, you know what I mean? I'm all right, guys, do you know what I mean? Do I not look all right? Posted, right, this is from Julia. Are you a flat earther? No chance. No, no. Are you, Julia? At Louis Strong. Do you have any type of routine before writing a song? Normally I go into the session with like an idea of like, when I'm like out and about, I might note like different concepts on my phone. So not really like specific lyrics, but concepts, stuff that I want to write about. And then I normally go into the session and say, you know, here's two or three different talking points and then we'll kind of just land on one. This is from at LWTZ Walls. In a Freaky Friday situation where you woke up in someone else's body, who would you like to be for a day and have them inhabit your body? It's been a long day today and that is a crazy question. Um, funnily enough, not something I'd, I'd say I'd ever thought about. Um, I'd probably just wake up in one of the best footballers' uh, bodies and just be amazing at football, probably. At Chelsea Boot 28, you said you started to read again. What is your favourite book and who's your favourite fictional character? Yeah, I have started reading, but at the moment I'm reading a book about the Beatles, so it, there's no fiction in there. So that's that. At 91's Ace, Louis Tomlinson, what's your favourite emoji? I don't ever really, I'm old school, I don't use emojis. I still do the, you know, the two little, what do you call them? Anyway, I don't do emojis. Post it. Right, onto Instagram now, I think. Let's have a look. Where was the safety belt to keep you on that chair? Uh, <laughs> interesting question. Uh, yeah, it was underneath my jumper. That makes your day a lot better. I'd say that. What is that? With the Q. Qora? Cora, what is that? What are Louis Tomlinson's musical inspirations? You know, naturally where I grew up in England. Um, you know, I'm a massive, massive Oasis fan. They definitely impact on my life musically, so we'll go with that. 
What a quote by Louis Tomlinson. I don't know, you'd have to ask the fans. Happy days, happy days. I say that one a lot. I said that in an infamous marijuana video. What accent of British English does Louis Tomlinson speak? Um, Northern, and specifically Yorkshire, South Yorkshire I'm from. So there you go, bit of Donny lingo. What is Louis Tomlinson like in real life? Really nice guy. Submit. Next, Wikipedia. He had a number of jobs, including at View Cinema and at Doncaster Rovers Football Stadium as a waiter in the hospitality suites. That's true, yeah. Um, worked at the cinema for about a year, worked at Donny Rovers for about six months. Um, yeah, get me a little extra wage. Tomlinson, whose previous football experience had been to play and run his own pub team called Three Horseshoes, had agreed to play in a charity game at the Keepmount Stadium in his hometown of Doncaster to raise money for the Bluebell Wood charity and offered offered a deal by professionals. Oh, wow. When they put it like this, it makes me sound incredible. Um, the reality of the situation was I was in a band with um, other people who weren't great players. Niall's decent, but that's about it, really. Uh, so I always looked like a great footy player. I've always grown up loving Doncaster Rovers. I was lucky enough to have like a contract with them. Um, yeah, special time in my life. Submit. IMDB, wow. Trademark. Tattoos, defined cheekbones, blue eyes. Sounds fucking good to me. Next. Elsie, what do you miss about being a teenager? Is this something you could have done different? Um, I'm pretty stubborn that I wouldn't do anything different, I don't think. Best thing about being a teenager is absolutely zero responsibility. What was the most difficult part while recording this video? And this is a comment on Don't Let It Break Your Heart. You know, normally on my music videos, um, it's quite uh, straightforward for me. And I'll just, you know, perform a little bit, walk a little bit. Whereas this one, I didn't have to act, but I was involved in the narrative a little bit more. What are you learning right now in life? Well, I, as I said, I just started reading. I'm not saying I'm learning to read, because I learned to read at school, but I'm learning to enjoy books. Submit. Thank you very much.